So the Bod Pod is quite a simple technology. It doesn't look like it, but it's quite simple. And it's using a technology called air displacement plethysmography, which is a very complicated way of saying it's just using air to look at someone's body fat percentage and their body fat content. We put all of the person's demographics into it. So that means their age, their height um, and their gender. Um, because all of these are relevant for the result at the end. And then the person stands on the scale, so we get their body mass or their weight. And then once they're in here, they sit in here for two minutes total. Um, and there's just a little bit of air movement around them. It's very comfortable. Um, they just have to sit as still as they can and breathe normally in and out. Um, and then after two minutes, this machine has come up with an idea of their volume. So basically the amount of air that's been pushed out is equal to the volume of a person. Once you've got mass and you've got volume, you can figure out someone's density. And from there you can figure out how much of their body's made up out of fat tissue. So weight alone is talking about how every single part of the body combines to add up to how much that person weighs. But it's interesting to see just sort the body out into compartments. So what we do here is we separate it into two compartments, the fat mass compartment and the fat free mass compartment, um, because it can just show us more about someone's body. Abnormally high body fat can lead to all sorts of diseases um, and it can be really dangerous. It can be also be dangerous for um, women and their babies while they're pregnant if we have body fat and too high of a percentage. So we're using the Bod Pod as part of our new 1000 study. It's one of the many samples that we take um, to get a gauge of how a woman's body composition changes throughout her pregnancy in terms of her body fat, not just her weight, um, but trying to see if we can predict outcomes a little bit better using a fat mass percentage instead of her body mass index or how her weight changes. We also have a baby version of the Bod Pod called the Pea Pod at the hospital um, that we can use to then exactly the same thing look at how a baby's body composition looks at birth not just their birth rate as well